Say good morning, Tom. Hey, good morning. Have fun with the duck. Fifty-seven degrees outside and a beautiful sunny day. No wind. Good breakfast. Ready for another 80-mile trek. This time with very little climbing. Snow-capped mountains. It's a good name because it's for you. This is just a cinch. Yeah, right. Watch the guys. They're moving along, and then they must have had a cat, four novice girls group that only had four. Oh, okay, different groups. Is this Sunday? Yeah. That's why the traffic is so light. Good morning, Tracy. 80 miles to go. 47 degrees now without the sun. On a beautiful Sunday morning. Oh, it's a little cold right now. It's kind of strange. I had the thermometers at 57 in the sun. Now it says 40, 47. Union Pacific. Mike see a nose. Uh, Mike, I mean John, I mean Mike, Mike Jones. Mike. He's uh he's gonna go home on Tuesday. 45 degrees, 3,800 feet elevation. We've gone five miles, we got 75 to go. On a beautiful Sunday morning in Oregon. Oh what a beautiful morning! Oh, what a beautiful day. I think it's just a pity that we had to leave Baker City. Steve Clydesdale. Bum, 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 bum. The beautiful Teresa. Good morning. There's the duck. Yep, here's the duck. May he have a safe journey today. He's uh, staring at me right now. Got three engines. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Morning. Hello. Hi, Jack. Hi. My rope. This is the way biking ought to be. Yeah. Nice open road. Nice weather. Quiet. Right. And and no traffic. Oh, what a beautiful morning! Oh, what a beautiful day! I'm riding on the back of Rules Tire. So I can last the rest of the day. Yo, Jack. Hey, hey Penny. Hey. Oh, he's behind me. I thought he was ahead of me. Okay. Motivate Chase. I wish every day could be like this. We have the interstate here on the left. Paralleling the interstate, we should be jumping on the interstate soon. It's 7.30 in the morning, we're at 3,300 feet on a minus 2% slope. It's a beautiful 65 degrees out. And we're still in Oregon. Crossing 
the interstate. And we have to our right the large cement plant. Victorious figure. Yeah. And this is where we get on the interstate. Cattle Garden. famous rumble strip. It's 8.22 in the morning, 71 degrees. Elevation 2500. We've gone 32 miles. It's a beautiful day in Oregon. And that's the end of our first interstate experience. We can go to that rest stop over there. And we have our first seg stop. I guess we are getting back on the interstate. Your speed's 63, slow down it says. Yeah. 66. And we got a lookout mountain in one mile. The Burt River. And more cut out geology for you geologists. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. We've traveled 38 miles, almost halfway. 45 miles to go. Temperatures 85 degrees. Elevation 2300. And it's a beautiful day in Oregon. Rule will show the correct technique for traversing an exit ramp. First time checking in my mirror for any traffic. There is no traffic. And we go down to the exit sign. We cut off the triangle. He takes a look. And the shortest possible length, he cuts across. And we survive that one. And we have Ontario, 36 miles by this route. 45 by our route. And we'll demonstrate the proper method of traversing an entrance ramp. First, we check the traffic. The none. Cut across quickly. And there you have it. Another successful crossing. Wires. You can see those wires from the tires and those wires break off and they stick in your tires and cause a problem. And we're at the halfway point, down 41.4, 41.4 to go. 9.22, 85 degrees at 2200 feet elevation and no wind. It's a beautiful day in Oregon. And we're going across a railroad bridge. And we have a little wind farm up on top of the hill. Shows that there isn't that much wind. But what wind we do have is a headwind. Alan. You're Alan, yes. Thanks, Alan. Betcha. 
Okay, mate. Phil. Mike. Hi. Ready? Okay. I'll see you. See you, Penny. Hello. Hi. Ah, got it. You got it? Yep. Awesome. Yeah, I don't want any more mirrors. And we have the duck here with Tom. How's the conversation going? He's having a good time. Is he? He's starting to talk a bit. It looks like he's getting a little sunburned to me. A little bit. Yeah. Hmm. He's a Black Hills duck, I see. Yes, he is. The last spike to reach Oregon, Union Pacific Railroad organized the Oregon Short Line Railroad in 1881. The last spike was driven on November 25th. That's where all those boats were going. Now we get about three miles of downhill before we hit the interstate. It's a beautiful day in Oregon. They're into wagons here. They're well bent, State Park. Ah, the peace and quiet of fishing on a very calm lake. Eighty-six degrees, we've done fifty-one miles, thirty-two left. All of a sudden we lost an hour. It's now 11.28. Elevation is 2,100 feet. And we're going to get on East 84. Going to Ontario. The city, not the state. And here we go. Going back on the interstate. I would guess that that's the Snake River. Could be wrong. And since the way station's closed, we're going to take that. The advantage of a closed station is that it should be able to tell me how much I weigh. 250 pounds! The lion piece of crap! <laughs> of course, we've got a flat. Guys, okay! To the rescue! We'd be much wiser if we get off and wiser. Primitive Road, next 22 miles. And we came from over those hills where those windmills are. You can barely see it. This is the Snake River. Meandering along, very calm. Got a slight headwind, maybe a couple miles an hour. All right, here's a big surprise. There's rocks the next mile. Asphalt, too. Here, calm water. Ancient lava flow on the right. That's what they mean by rocks. We've done 1,400 feet of climbing. It's noon. We've done 57 miles. 26 left. Elevation is 2,100. And it's a beautiful day in Oregon. This is disgusting. Me standing here, not doing nothing. It certainly is. Everything here. Hit a rock. Got a flat. Are you gonna fill it up? Son of a bitch, I just blew it. I wasn't supposed to do that. Just turn off. Well, that was fun. Just had a flat tire. 60 miles down, 20 to go, 89 degrees out, 2200 feet, it's 1241. Looks like we're coming up on a valley, the Green Valley. That's enough warning, I think. We're right about the sinkholes. And this is the first corn I've seen in a week. 
Getting back to civilization. That there is wheat. Nice. That, sir, on the right is an onion field. What the onions look like. There we go, just needs a little paint. We've got 12 miles going to the destination. It's 1.45 p.m., 91 degrees, with a light breeze and 2,200 feet elevation. And this is what ditch irrigation looks like for onions. Have to have it pretty flat. We've got six miles to go at 2.15 in the afternoon. Thermometer says 95 degrees. And now we're on Ontario Street and looking for the bike path. And we're going over the interstate. Rule, this is Tom. Tom, this is Rule. Hi, Rule. How you doing, Rule. Tom? Good. Okay, we go over 84 and it should be on our left. Where are we staying? The Clarion? 2100 feet elevation. And we should be here. Yep, here we are. Don't shave, we'll be here.